So what we are currently doing is that we are in the process of leveraging our initiative for bagging more business from customers. So we are going to the market, we are actually trying to make some mafia offers, trying to take heavy penalties from customers and you know also trying to take bonus clauses and seeing that whether we can actually change the rules of the game of the industry. Then we are also wanting to give some flexibility to the customers and architects because our lead times are low. So we know that many times in a large project, you know, they don't actually want the material so soon. So in which case what we do is that we quote a slightly higher lead time to them because they are okay with that and we tell them but we are giving you a flexibility to make changes for more days compared to our competition. So that is what they appreciate because in the real scenario what happens that the purchase person he will finalize the order, he will give the color scheme and everything but many times the uh, chief operating officer will later come and he will want to change the color scheme. Okay, so that's where all the debates and uh, issues start. So we are today giving them the flexibility. So that's something which is also, you know, being appreciated by customers. And we are further focusing on the small business because we believe that in the long run, it is going to be a significant contributor in our throughput. So in terms of experience, what I just want to narrate to you is that, again, these areas, we had decided that we are not going to measure. Okay, so we had said that we are not going to measure, for example, you know, that whether the setups on the paint shop were creating an issue in terms of, uh, say, any further consumption of powder or whether more setups were creating any issues in terms of, you know, batching and all. But nevertheless, we revisited this after a few months to see that, you know, what was happening. So here again is a beauty which, you know, like a traditional scientific logic, okay, cannot explain. But this is the reality which has happened that today we actually took more batches but our productivity or our total production, it never got impacted. Okay, we did in fact, you know, had to take some quick change over projects to make the process faster. But our daily production meeting, okay, it actually went down from about two hours and you, you know, used to sit, have coffee, talk, fight to just 15 minutes of stand-up meeting. So that was like a great experience and all internal milestones that whether purchase has performed, man, wood has performed, metal, everything got removed. It was only that whether, you know, finally from the point the due date has been given, whether the due date has been met. And as I mentioned earlier that the local measures, they actually started showing improvement, you know, despite really not focusing on them. In fact, we have said that we will do away with these kind of measures. And naturally the space was getting released because less and less material was getting accumulated. So benefit was that speed at the sites increased significantly. And as I mentioned to you earlier also that the teamwork became very, very good. So today what happens is that, you know, at the plant level or at the field level, we just talk, you know, one language, buffer management, due date setting, and really nobody is talking departments or, you know, what is the performance and all. So that was a big, very big cultural change which happened over here. And uh, yes, the story, I mean, certainly has a happy ending. So what I'm sharing with you is that, you know, few months down the line, we got a mail from one of the largest dealers in the country and the part which is highlighted says that open plan office systems is our internal nomenclature. It's our brand name for the category of modular furniture that for the first time, the OPOS has come in full without any shortages. So he's actually congratulating our branch and branch is naturally feeling very happy about it. And then, you know, everybody is praising all the other factors which were also done by the branch. And our general manager sales of the northern region, he is in turn written to our vice president product supply and the dealer saying that, you know, like, yes, we are today into this initiative. We have done this uh, initiative well. And basically, he is also thanking that we have been able to get this thing fast. So to end, I would not like Vector to be thanked only because, you know, they helped us implement this entire project. Actually, I would also like to thank them because they are really, they have helped us to go home a little early. Okay, so I think... <laughs> I could stand up with my own CEO and I said that today if I am saving two hours, I mean I know that you know I can't go home two hours earlier, I mean people do you know have this feeling okay going home too early doesn't look very hard working or something but uh, I shared with him that it is my right to go home half, a, half an hour earlier. So if I was say we work, we begin at 6.40 in our plant, so if I was going home at say maybe 6.30 in the evening I told him that I should be given the right to go by around 5.45 and naturally the balance one and a half hour we are today trying to spend into other improvement projects. So a lot of time saving has happened and the time saving is now getting channelized into trying to make improvements into other areas because delivery, I mean, I am holding the podium so I can say touch wood, it has really become a hygiene factor for us now, you know. So with this I would like to end my presentation. Thank you for a patient listening. Uh, Swapnil, just, just one comment. I, I forgot to mention in the introduction an interesting part. Swapnil's daughter was born on the 30th of March. I'm uh, sure sorry, you sorry. remember the significance of this date. 30th of March, Swapnil was never able to attend the birthday of his own daughter because there was always the year-end pressure, you know, to close. <laughs> and I believe now he's able to attend his daughter's birthday. Yeah, my, in fact, son's birthday, confidently I could go half-day also. <laughs> I'll just have one comment. Uh, he mentioned Swapnil that it was thoda pyar, thoda magic. But after listening to this, I think it was bahut sara pyar and bahut sara magic. <laughs> Give them a big hand. It's a great achievement. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, get your 
I have a question. I think we have found the competitive advantage with India. He gave a two-hour presentation in, in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> And you guys understood what he said. <laughs> that was the fastest speaker I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but you see this is, as a serious dilemma. How can I invite him to come and speak in Las Vegas next summer when nobody will understand him at all? <laughs> So I'm thinking what we should just do is videotape him. We can play it back at slow speed. <laughs> I have a, have a real question for you. Yeah. The real question is, you can deliver, obviously, in one day. Sorry? I thought I was speaking too slow. <laughs> <laughs> you can deliver an order in one day.